A former Wendy correctional inmate is speaking out tonight. He's seeking $5 million from a corrections officer he says brutally beat him while he was incarcerated last August. Now, we first told you about this case in December after Kenneth Bingham filed a civil complaint against the officer in federal court seeking those $5 million in damages. News for us, Jen Schatz tells us what's new now with the case. Jen? Well, Jackie, court documents show as of March 17th, the Attorney General's office is no longer representing that officer. Kenneth Bingham, the inmate alleging this abuse, has been in a wheelchair since 2002. I believe this guy tried to kill me. Kenneth Bingham was serving yeah. time at Wendy Correctional for criminal possession of stolen property when he claims he was brutally beaten by a CO. The alleged incident described in this civil complaint occurred in August of last year. Bingham, who was paralyzed after being injured serving time at another facility in 2002, is in a wheelchair. On my way to rec, uh, this officer grabbed a hold of my wheelchair, turned it violently, and uh, proceeded to push me down the hallway in a violent manner. The next thing I know, I had blows raining down on me. I mean, he was hitting me in the temple, the eye. Uh, the left side of my face, the back of my head. According to the complaint, Bigham was attacked without provocation by Officer Jay Rinkovich and allegedly punched more than 20 times. Bingham recently testified at Wendy during a hearing regarding Officer Rinkovich. He says it was a termination hearing. You know, there are powerful forces aligned against justice in the criminal justice system. And those forces have to be reckoned with. And really, the beginning of that is DOCS itself. Bingham, who has since been released, had an open parole date at the time of the incident. I was sitting there this whole time trying to get out on parole uh, for 30 months. And uh, there was no way I would jeopardize my parole. Now, according to the Department of Corrections, Officer Rinkovich is currently suspended without pay, but due to the ongoing investigation, they won't comment further. Nice Scoba, the CO's union, says they also can't comment on the case at this time. We, of course, will keep you posted. Live in the